create? Yes, let's hit create. And as I mentioned with the dark post and 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 posting on your business page first, always mm-hmm. post on the business page first. And then in the campaign, we're gonna name everything right here. So and these are just the titles of the tabs. So campaign put intro video. Intro video, and you're gonna go intro video, and then and then whatever, whatever the actual campaign Should objective have... is, put it in parentheses. So okay. this one's gonna be video views. So go back, go back. Okay. So use existing campaign. No, 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 no. Let's X out of this real quick. Let's do it again. X out. Mm-hmm. So let's hit. Um, first of all, uncheck that one selected. Always make sure you're out of out, out of that previous ad. Yeah. So get okay. out of that. Yeah. See, I tried to click the the check mark in order to undo oh, it. Okay. I guess okay. It. Okay. Yeah. Let's get out of there. You always got to get out of there, and then you hit the green one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So. What we're going to do in this one, we're going to go video views. We're going video views mm-hmm. to simply capture an audience um, and then hit that drop down and let's name, let's name everything right here. So the campaign, okay. this is going to be intro video. And then whatever the objective we just chose, I put that in, in parentheses. So this is intro okay. video and then in parentheses, video views. video views. Perfect. Okay. 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 And then the ad set level, we're, we might as well just name that right now since we already know where we're targeting. We're going to name the ad set level Auburn. Okay. Okay. And then, cool. and then the, the ad, it could be the same thing. Intro video, video views. It could be the same as the top because that's intro. all the ads. Okay. Be, intro video. Yeah, perfect. You and teach... Then- do you teach uh, like large companies? Like if there's a whole marketing team that would need to know and learn Facebook ads, do you, you do know that? what I mean? I, I haven't, I, I mean, I could, I just never, never came across that opportunity. Um, mm-hmm. I have so many real estate agents that, that's, that mentioned that. Yeah, David, I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, let my broker know and you can maybe pitch to my entire office. But what, what people end up doing is just sending me referrals of, of, of an individual. Like they'll yeah. send me their friend. That's part of the team but it's never really presenting to the whole team because okay. it, especially in real estate, like in the office, very rarely is everybody even in the office. Everyone's yeah. out of the office. Everyone's independent. Everyone's working from home. Everyone's doing their own thing. So very yeah, rarely it'd like just be hard to coordinate everybody. Together. It would hard, yeah. It'd be hard to coordinate unless we coordinate a zoom, obviously to actually to tell you the truth, it actually probably would be easier now because everybody could just plug in a, to a zoom call. Yeah. But at the same time, it's not, that's not really business that I chase at all. Like at all, at all. Mm-hmm. Um, Again, where I'm at right now, curious. man. Is, yeah, yeah. I just want to scale my course. Like, I just want to. Yeah, yeah. yeah you want to automate it. Yeah, for yeah, sure, dude. You know, so let's hit continue. So that's the objective. That's the objective part. Now, there's one more step on the first campaign objective, which is this mm-hmm. step right here. And that's in your case, you're always going to go special ad categories on. You're always oh, yeah, going to go yeah. special categories on. So go housing. And then we're good. So click out of there and then scroll down. And and campaign budget optimization, we're going to always make sure that's always off. We're going to always do okay. that off because as I teach you, as I taught you, but as we'll continue to get into it further on, on, on more calls, because I mean, our, our education doesn't really stop after five calls, man. You're going to hit me up more often than you know, like to, to look at ads. And so the way we're going to be doing it is we're going to be, we're going to be doing it. Um, we're going to be running multiple ad sets. So campaign mm-hmm. budget optimization is not really necessary for what we're going to be doing right now. So hit next, especially with this video views, like we don't need campaign budget optimization. So Auburn is the ad set name. And then what we're going to do on this is we're going to go lifetime budget. Okay. And it's really video views. It's video views and the like ad that we go lifetime budget. When we go into conversion ads, which will be the very next ad, that's when we'll start capturing leads. Mm -hmm. That's when we're going to go daily budget. We're going to go daily budget. And we're going to start at a very low number, five bucks a day, for example. But that's mm-hmm. when we're going to be setting up multiple ad sets, multiple ad sets at daily budgets of five bucks a day. Um, that's why I mentioned earlier, the minimum is 10 bucks, because with 10 bucks, you can at least go two ad sets. With 20 bucks per day, you're going four ad sets. But at the same time, okay. what I also want you to understand is that it's not like you're running. If I'm telling you 20 bucks a day, that's only to start. That's only to start the campaign. That's only the first four days, for example. Because and then after, after that, them, yeah, you after find the good two, and then you shut yeah. off the rest. Exactly, exactly. In four days, you'll have enough data to look at the four campaigns and look look at the five bucks per four, and be like, okay, mm-hmm. 
this one ad set's outperforming these other three. Let's shut these three off and let's let let's set that one run. And that run that one run can run on five bucks a day, man. So we're gonna test some different numbers for sure to really mm -hmm. answer your question earlier. What's the real cost per lead? We'll find that out. We'll find that out and then we'll run with that. Okay. So lifetime budget. Um, again, it just depends on you. It depends on how long you want to run it. You don't have to spend a lot on this at all. Like all we really want is a few thousand views. Like we want a few thousand people in that local area to see this video. It's not like so we need. Probably, what would it be similar to what we are doing on the page likes video? Yeah. Yeah. You can do that for sure. You can do that for sure. Put 25 bucks, put lifetime and let it run, okay. let it run for the rest of the month. Let it run for the rest of okay. the month. And then, and then, and then why don't we do this? Why don't we let it run for the rest of the month, the next eight, nine days or whatever it is, 10 days. Um, it says that I have to put at least $31 in here. Well, cause you got to change the date, change the end date. Oh, oh okay. So go, go scroll down and change that date. Um, and, and just, why don't you just go 30th, 30 or 31st, okay. 31st and, and change today's the 21st, right? Today's the 21st. Why yes. don't you change that time? Let's, let's have it run today. We're going to have it start today. But why don't you change the time to, to um, let's go, let's go, let's go 6 p.m. Let's go 6 p.m. Okay. 6 p.m. Actually, you know what? That's Pacific time. Why don't we go, why don't we go 4 p.m.? Let's go 4 p.m., which would be 6 p.m. Central. So we'll go, we'll go 6, 6 p.m. Actually, excuse me, 4 p.m., 4 p.m., 4 p.m. Yeah, Pacific. And then, and then let's change the end, end time to 4 p.m. as well. Okay. And let's let's let this run for the next ten days, man. Let it run for the next ten days. Get a get a few thousand views on it, and then and then create that custom audience, which is what I think we already did. But we'll actually mm -hmm. we, did it. we haven't created the custom audience yet on this one on this video. So, no, 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 not on this one. Yeah, we'll do that right now um, when we're done. Um, and then and then and then why don't we plan for the first? That's your first conversion ad. That's when we're going to start going after leads on January one. Okay. We're going to retarget awesome. everyone who watched this video. Okay, so scroll down, scroll down. We're good here. We're good here. Let's go. Um, we're good on, on the audiences. Um, but again, when we get to, stop right there. When we get to the next ad, January 1, for example, this is where we're going to, so scroll up a little bit, right there where it says custom audience. Yeah. We're going to click and we're going to find our audience, the audience of those who watched this video. We're going to name it. We're going to find it in the drop down, and we're going to click on it and target them. Okay. Okay. So let's click out of here. And then, and then also from, from ad, let's just call it ad number three and on, as you go on to your, your, your third ad and your fourth ad and your fifth ad, every ad from that point on from, let's just call it from ad number three and on, you'll always hit exclude and you'll exclude the custom audience of leads. That's where you click on exclude. So click on exclude right there. You'll see the custom audience of click in the box. So right, seller leads right there, bam, yeah. seller leads. That's the custom audience we created. So from ad number three and on, once you, once you capture your first lead, which hopefully is on the, on the first ad, on the first conversion ad, January 1, mm -hmm. let's just say, for example, after that, you now have someone in that audience. So you want to always make sure you exclude them from every, convert, from every conversion ad from that point on, which, will, which yeah. will really be about ad number three. Ad number three and on, you'll always exclude that list. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So let's click out of there. So let's go to um, the, the next one down. Let's scroll down. Let's change United States. Let's go Auburn. Perfect. And you can go up to 50. It's just why not do 50? Yeah, why not, dude? Let's take over the whole city, bro. So 50 miles. Okay, so scroll down. Scroll down, scroll down. And then let's change. Actually, you cannot change the age anymore. You cannot change the gender. Um, and mm -hmm. that's the housing um, category that you're in. And and with the detailed targeting, here's how I here's how I look at the detail targeting. Like we're only spending 25 bucks. We're only, we're, we're targeting only a little area, like 50 miles. Yeah, that is a great, that is, you know, a good amount of radius, but at the same time, it's a freaking needle in a haystack when you're looking yeah. at the entire country or when you're looking at the entire globe and, and the entire world that we can actually target. We're targeting a very, very small area. So 
I leave that open. The detail targeting, I don't even, I don't even, I don't even put any keywords in there. Not on this video view. Let on the video view and the intro, we're trans, we're gonna just go broad. As mm -hmm. we go into conversion ads and as we go into capturing leads, then yes, that's when we'll put in some different keywords. We'll put in some different different keywords, which will make up our multiple ad sets. So okay. we'll either we'll either put in keywords for multiple ad sets. Or for multiple ad sets, we can target different parts of Auburn. So when you look at Auburn, Auburn is the city. But yeah. within the city of Auburn, there's many micro cities. So mm -hmm. multiple ad sets could be where we don't target just Auburn. We target this city. We target that city. We target that city. We target that city. That's multiple ad sets as well. Because you're because we don't want to just think Auburn when when maybe we're getting all of our leads from Southern Auburn and Southern Auburn Auburn is 20 miles away and that's a completely different city. We might as well just target that city rather Completely. than wasting money on the other yeah. cities, right? So, yeah. so that's as we, that, that's why multiple ad sets are so important because it allows you to see where your ROI is really coming from and you can break it down per city or we could break it down per keyword, but we'll get there on our, on, on January 1. Um, so so here's here's a little homework for you on, the, on, on just for a side note. Think of all the different cities, all the different micro cities within Auburn that, that we, can, we can most likely target. That's, that's what would that what would that mean specifically? Would that mean like um, I mean like if you have a downtown area, would that be what you consider like its own little micro city, and then you have like what different parts of suburbs? Yes, dude. Every 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 part of the of the city, there's it's it's a different name. It's not just Auburn. I don't just live in. I live in Auburn, but I also live in like for example, San Diego. San Diego, mm -hmm. three million people. San Diego, big big city. When when you think of California, you you think of San Diego, San Diego, San Diego, but but when you live yeah. here, San Diego Different neighborhoods, like yeah, bro, Chile. like yeah, there's like a trillion neighborhoods. Like, I grew up in National City. Now I live in Chula Vista. I used to have an office in Bonita. Like, there's so many different micro cities, and these are actual different zip codes. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. So should I do it by zip code, or no, should I you just not do it by zip code when it comes to housing? Um, okay. but, but that zip code has a city is what I'm saying. So that city okay. is what we want to start, start thinking of. Like, let's make a list of all the different cities that we want to target. Um, okay. and we're going to start yeah, targeting them individually. Make a reminder to do that right now. Yeah. We're going to start targeting them individually and that's our multiple ad sets. So, um, so let's leave that blank. Let's leave that blank. Go ahead and click on show more options, which I don't think there are any more that we need. So, um, mm -hmm. click on show more oh, options right, right there. Yeah. Yeah, we're good there. So go down. We're going to leave it on placements. Actually, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do. We're going to, and here, here's the difference. Click on manual placements. Automatic mm -hmm. placements is telling Facebook, put this ad everywhere. Put it everywhere, yeah. wherever you want to put it, Facebook. Here's, here's the budget. Put it everywhere. But what I end up doing a lot of the times is um, I end up going all in on just the news feed, especially if it's a smaller budget. 25 bucks. I mean, if it's a smaller budget, Take off Instagram because the, mm -hmm. the video is not even optimized for Instagram. Take off Messenger. Take mm -hmm. off Audience Network. And, and you can see below what those are. So go down. If you hover over all the different ones, you, you see where that placement is at. So, so, oh, okay. Okay. so what, what we want to do with that budget, we want to go in. And, and also with the knowledge, we know that the majority of the attention is in the news feed. Yeah. Like when we're on Facebook, so if just I'm go ahead and put it all there. I'll put it all on, go all in on black, bro. Go all in on freaking. Yeah, dude. Like let's like, like it was poker. We're going all in on freaking the news feed. So, okay. Let's uncheck you. everything else. And let's just go. Yeah. Take off in stream and we're going to just leave the news feed. Perfect. So we're good. Now again, okay. automatic cool. placements would have left everything checked. And just let Facebook do their thing, which most of the time is not a bad idea because Facebook, they're not going to overspend your budget either. So they're going to they're going to really allocate those funds, even if it's just 25 bucks, they're going to allocate it where necessary. But at the same time, why not manually control it as well? Yeah. And and, and do this. And, and that's what yeah. manual placement is. Our, our edit placement is that's we're, we're manually allocating it ourselves just to be double. Sure. You know what I mean? So. Mm -hmm. 
So that's what we're going to roll with. We're going to roll with video views, news feed only. So let's scroll down, scroll down. We're good there. We're good there. Hit next. You don't need any of that stuff right there. We'll hit okay. next. So now we're on the third tab. Everything is about these tabs. So now we're in the third and final tab. This is where we're going to simply either add our Instagram account right here, which we don't need to because we're not running on Instagram. So don't worry about that. We're going to mm -hmm. scroll down right where it says add setup. And we're going to click on create ad and we're going to go use existing post. So again, okay. a dark so I post, select the post. Yep. A dark post is when you would have just created ad, you would have pulled the video from your computer and put it here. Mm -hmm. But again, I don't like doing it that way because again, this ad will end. And when it ends, it's nowhere to be found. If we're going to pay for it, we might as well leave it on the business page. Yeah. Just so people right? also know that like, you know, that this is specifically where they found the ad. Like this is the, well, I guess well, the, the, this is the, where they, they would, you know, that, I, that I don't too. Understand. Yeah. That's one reason. But another reason is because if someone visits your business page in freaking seven months, Mm -hmm. why not see the video? Like, why not? Yeah, especially yeah. if that video That's has 7,000 views on it. Yeah. Right? If I came to your business page a few months later and I'm like, damn, 5,000 views? This kid must be crushing it, right? That's what yeah. I'm thinking. And as an average consumer, I'm not even knowing that you run an ad. I'm not even thinking of ads. I'm just a normal consumer who works at a Home Depot. Mm -hmm. But I see yeah. 500 views on it. I'm thinking, holy shit, this kid must be doing it, right? Yeah. So it's, it's the social proof. It's all that engagement. In this case, it's going to be all those video views that I want to live on my page forever. I don't want to shut it. I don't want it to come down once I turn the ad off. You know what I mean? For sure. Yeah. So, so it, let's hit continue. So it, with video specifically, always get in the habit of, habit of, yeah, putting it on the page first and then come in here and use an existing post. So there's okay. that. But here's another thing. Here's another thing. Oh, man, here's, here's another thing. Shit, I forgot to. Um... Okay, so here's what we're going to have to do. What you did not do on the business page is you didn't put any text. So, oh, okay. So do I need to go back and do that? Try to, I don't think you're going to be able to try to pull up your Facebook page. Okay. So from, from the ads manager, or just do a yeah, just tab? Go to Facebook, just go to your, just go to Facebook. Okay. Yeah. Not from the ads manager. So just, yeah, go from here. Yeah. So once you place the ad there, even though it's not, let, let's see if I'm wrong, but it, it's, it's happened to me many, many times where we've gotten this far. And now if you come over here to edit, I don't think you're going to be able to. It's either when, when we're in the process of running the ad or when it's in review. Try. Hit the dots. Go to the top of the video. Click on the three dots. Okay. Everything uh, is about the three dots. Yeah, everything is about okay. the three dots. See, so see edit. edit post. Oh, perfect, dude. Thank God it allowed you to. So if we would have processed that ad, if we would have published it, watch, go back to the ads manager. Mm -hmm. If you would have published it, hit that green button and just published mm -hmm. it. And now it's in review. You would have not been able to come back and edit the post. Okay. So you always, when you put that post on the business page first, you always want to make sure you put all the text because, because the text, we can't put it here. We have mm -hmm. to put it on the post as we're posting it. Okay. You know, okay. so let's, let's go yeah, to the page, yeah. go to, go to, yeah, go there. And now let's put some, some, some information right here. So the title, the title, watch, go back to ads manager. The title is going to be the, is going to be right below the video. So it's kind of weird because they name it title, but that title is not the title. The title is actually going to live right there where the number one is at, right where the okay. number one is at. We're going to see the title right there. So you only have a little bit of real estate. You only have a little bit of space right there to write something short and descriptive in the title okay. Because, because right next to the title is going to be a call to action button. Normally it'd be learn more, but what we'll do is we'll just put a simple send message uh, call to action button, but um, mm -hmm. you only have a little bit of room. So put something short and sweet and simple put um, and, and it could be, it could be, it could be part of part of who we're looking for. It could say, it could be a, a headline, a title could be something like um, introducing myself to potential sellers perfect or I, I don't... perfect perfect perfect, really? okay. perfect now that might be a little too long for okay. for the real estate that's right there but let's check let's ju let's just check introducing myself to self to perfect Perfect. Okay. Hopefully that all fits. That's really good. Yeah. Introduce myself to potential sellers. I love it. Perfect. So in the description, that's the text. So that's what's going to live on top of the video. 
Um, okay. That's the text. So let's just write something. And this doesn't have to be short and sweet. This could be, you know, a couple sentences. It could be one sentence. Um, it could be calling out. It could be a question calling out, you know, our, our, our potential clients. Um, mm -hmm. Or just say like, like, hi, my name is Ethan. And it was like an overall summary of the yes, video, dude. basically. Yes. Yeah, uh, that'd be good. Put that. My name is, I guess. My name. Ethan. I understand. Stay in You know what, what? What wouldn't be bad either, and what would mm -hmm. what, what I believe wouldn't even hurt you. I think it'd actually give you a little bit of leverage, is if you said something like, "Hi, my name is my name is." Actually, you put name twice. You put oh, if sorry. You put something like, "Hi, my name is Ethan Edmonston, and I'm a full time college student at Auburn University and a real estate investor." Okay. Okay. And I, yeah, I'm, I'm a full-time college student at Auburn University. And yeah, at Auburn University and a passionate real estate investor. Oh, okay. I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a passionate real estate investor period and and then and okay. then um and then um student auburn university and a passionate real estate investor i'm looking for i'm looking for potential sellers who may be in need or something like that right like i'm looking yeah Who may be in need of a cash buyer, of a of a cash buyer, or simply need to sell fast. Okay. Um, Do you uh, need one more sentence? We could. We can end it with one more sentence. Um, okay. Cash um, buyer, or simply need to need to sell fast. Um. What, uh, I wanted just, like, to, I wanted to, to simply, reach me. I, I wanted to simply introduce myself. Please message me if there's anything I can help you with, or something like that. I wanted okay. to simply introduce myself. Please message me if there's anything I can help you with. And that's it, bro. That's okay. simple. You know, um, a full it, intro. It's okay if I say if I can be a service. Yeah. Yeah. In any regard. Yeah. Okay. And then, and then, and then spell check the, the, um, myself introduce myself. Yeah. Myself. Oh. Yeah. Is there a way to, I'm terrible at typing. Is there yeah. a way to check your. Yeah. Grammarly you... install the app or actually the plugin Grammarly. Grammarly yeah. will actually just sit in your browser up in the top, right. And mm. it'll, it'll, it'll proof check everything for you as you're typing on anything. Is that like a Google extension or? Yeah, it's a Google extension. Extension. So, I mean, watch, click on, click on, open up another tab, go to Google real quick mm. and just, and just type in Grammarly. Yeah, Grammarly. So it okay. should be, yeah. Um, actually go to, go to, um, go to your, go to Google store, go to the, just type in Google store. Okay. Or or you can click on yeah, Google. Yeah, where's the Google store? I think it's the bottom one. Or actually, they're both of them. Yeah, either one, one of those. Yeah, click on that one. Click on search, and then just see if you can just search Grammarly. Yeah, I think it might be a different Google store. Go. I think you're in you're in something different. 
But if anything, I think you could do it straight from the website too. That's store.google.com. Um, there you go. So there we go. Chrome Web Store. It's the Web Store, the Google Web Store. Okay. Perfect. So right here. So this will just sit at the top right. And yeah, man, I use this for everything. It just, it'll spell check for you. You know, just sit there at the top okay. right. Yeah. I just probably would want that for, you know, every other ad that i'm running. oh yeah for anything too man like anything you're typing online like it's it's a freaking yeah. game changer yeah perfect so grammarly is installed yeah so create that when we're done go back to that when we're done okay. so let's go to the ad real quick or actually we're done with the video actually go back to the to, to your page yeah go to that one and so here's the deal we're good with that you could put some some tags if you want but we're running an ad so it, it doesn't even i don't think it really matters like you could put some keywords if you want um, no, I'm, I'm going to do whatever you say. What you can do also is click on thumbnail. There's different thumbnails that you can, you can, you can choose from as well. So click on to the right thumbnail, that okay. image. Uh, yeah. Click oh, on that. Oh, okay. Yeah. So now there's just a different and see, here's the thing. Here's what you forgot to do. What you forgot to do, bro, was hold the phone horizontal. You held it vertical. So oh, okay. you see the big difference here. Like there's the black yeah. borders, mm -hmm. like, it, it, for Facebook and for YouTube, it, it, it looked that, I mean, it's not really the most appealing, you know, it would have been widescreen if you held the phone horizontal. So I would have saw that full video rather than the black borders. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, so I didn't, I wasn't quite sure if he held it horizontally or vertically. Yeah, he held it vertical. He, okay. he held it vertical, but, um, but that's fine. It, it whatever it, but that's for Instagram. So that right there, that shot is for Instagram. Um, okay. So Let's go, um, let's go, um, let's, yeah, you can choose different, different thumbnails if you want, if you want to go with a different one, or you could just go with that one. Uh, what's the thumbnail that's currently on here? I don't, is there one? Well, yeah, there's that first one that's checked. I mean, that one's fine. I'm just, I'm just, you know, I'm just showing you this just so you know, like there's different still images that you can choose from hit the arrow. Oh, They're oh, just, oh, okay. As yeah, you can just choose the from video. Different, yeah, this is the thumbnail. Yeah. So if there's oh, one, oh, okay. you know, but it doesn't matter. You could just choose whichever one. Yeah, I think that's fine. Perfect. Okay, cool. So we're good. So hit save, hit save. The okay. Okay. And then now go back over here to ads manager. Yes. So now we're good. There. Actually, you know what? Go back to the business page real quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's refresh this. What's up, Bryson? Give me one minute. Okay refresh this page real quick mm -hmm. so now let's look at the actual um video so scroll down and delete this real quick the photo the the image hit the three dots go up real quick hit the three mm -hmm. dots on the image go up no go up on the image oh for the yeah go up this image? Right there. yeah hit the three dots and just remove remove just hide from page hide from page that way, no one needs to see that right there. Like we see it in the cover photo. So let's just clear out the real estate. Let's just open up. Okay. So hide from uh, page. Some, something happened. It's only it's turning to like a like a pen. Yeah, I see that. So we're good right there. There's the title. There's the, there's the description, and now we're good. So let's go to the ads manager, and let's just finalize this ad. And as we publish it that text should should show on the final on the final version. So, so should I refresh and see? No, 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 don't refresh it because then you'll have to start over. Yeah, don't don't okay, refresh okay. it. So let's add a let's add a button, a call to action. We'll just put a send message button there just to put it there. It's not a send message ad. It's not a lead capture ad. It's simply for video views. But so send we'll, WhatsApp message or no go go send message. Scroll down. Go oh, okay. Send message. Yeah. And then update post. Awesome. So now it captured the description. It captured the headline. See, so look, the headline introducing myself to potential sellers, your title. Yeah, all the way down perfect. there at the bottom. So, so, so this is what you need to need, need to know. This is good, good food for thought for future ads. When you put that video on the business page, the title, you don't want it to be any longer than that. Okay. Because it wouldn't have fit. It would have been dot, dot, dot. Like it wouldn't have the whole, right? Yeah. You want it to be short and descriptive, and, and I want to see exactly because that's all people are doing. They're scrolling through the newsfeed, and if you don't, if I don't read that headline right away, the title right away to what exactly it's it, it, it's meaning, 
I'm, I'm going to just keep going. Like, I'm not, I don't have time to click on it and read the whole damn thing. If there's a dot, 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 right. Like, I don't know what the hell the rest yeah, of the for sure. Is, right. So, so we're good. So there's that. So remember always when you post that video, the text and the, and the title goes first and then come back here and, 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 okay. and run it this way. So we're scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, and we are good. So there's the pixel, the pixels on which the pixel has nothing to do with this anyways, but we always want to make sure it, at least it's running. Um, yeah. And then we hit publish and we're good. So now this ad will go into review for the next few hours. You'll get an email when that ad is ready to go live. Um, you set it for 6 p.m. or 4 p.m., 6 p.m. Central. And so you're good. So now let's X out in the top left. Let's X out. And all you're going to do is come back in here and let's let's hit, um, the, let's uncheck the the one selected. So the blue, yeah, you could do it there. And then click on the middle tab. So we're going to uncheck each tab. First tab, middle tab, last tab, uncheck all of them. And that, um, that okay, so that's that's in draft. Perfect. So now we're in the third, we're in the third tab. It's going to say in draft. And then, and then that, that, um, that middle tab, click on ad sets. This one's scheduled. So we're good for Auburn scheduled. That one already approved. Click on the, the, the left tab, campaigns. See, now it's in review. So now it's only the third tab. It's only the ad or the video, the image or the video that's going to be in review for several hours. Okay. That's what's in review. That's what they're reviewing is the verbiage and their video and making sure there's nothing in the background. Um, it's crazy because they really review that video. If there, if there was alcohol, let's say you were, let's say you were, let's say you, you had a home bar. Let's say you're in the, in the, in the man's cave and you were doing a video and you got the home bar you got a pool table and you got it. You're just set up nice at home, right? You got a home bar or yeah. whatever. If there was bottles in the background, that ad would get rejected. Oh, okay. It's happened, so to, then, me. Yeah. It's happened to me before with real estate agents. Like I'll have a real estate agent where they'll, they'll do, they're doing an open house or they're, do, or they're doing a walkthrough. And as they're filming it, you know, they just happen to come across the freaking home bar, the wet bar by the kitchen. And because there's bottles in the video, the ad gets rejected. You know, okay. How is it able to differentiate between like a, like a, like a seltzer bottle or like a wine bottle yeah, or something. I, I really think a human reviews the video. I really, I really think that, like, I, I really think there's, there's humans that actually review. Um, it's not just everything robot. Like a lot of this stuff is automated. Facebook is a freaking machine, but there are yeah. hundreds of thousands of people that actually work for them and they do do something. So yeah, um, they're not just engineers. Like there's people that actually review ads. So I think it might be a human being that looks at the damn video and determines, okay, this one's good to go. That's so still insane. It, it, in the third tab, it's re in review. If you click on the middle tab, it'll yeah. say scheduled. If you click on the first tab, it'll say scheduled. So that ad is good to go. Man. <laughs> That's your video view ad. Let it run for the next 10 days. And then let's chat on the first. Okay. All right, bro. I'll go ahead and make the schedule for that. Sounds good, man. And then we got to, we got to, on the first, it's not just running our first ad. What we got to do is we got to work on Kartra. We yeah. got to work on Kartra. So try to play around with Kartra right now. Are you registered for their weekly Q and A's? Uh, no, I don't think I am. Let me let me send you this real quick. I want you to register for um, for their weekly Q and A call. This is super super important, man. Um, every Tuesday and Thursday they have live calls. Kartra support has live calls um, where they just jump on and they answer everyone's question. So whatever you may be in need of, um, they'll answer the question right there on the spot. And this, these are smart people. This is Kartra support. So they do it every Tuesday and Thursday at 3 p.m. Central time. Um, mm -hmm. If you cannot make it live, I highly, highly recommend getting on it live. But if for some reason you cannot, every Tuesday and Thursday, they'll, they'll send you the, re the replay. But, okay. but these calls, bro, that's where I learned everything about Kartra. Like you have to get on these weekly calls. Um, and then in the Facebook group, are you in the Facebook group yet? Kartra Facebook group? Yeah, Kartra Facebook group. Uh-uh. Yeah, no. go to go to your Facebook page real quick and just um and 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 join yeah, right here. So just hit, click on click yeah, type in Kartra in the in the search Facebook. Kartra, and you're looking for Kartra official. So click on Kartra and join yeah, join join that group. Cuz any random question on on the software, man, yeah, look for the group, scroll down or just click on groups to the left. Um Groups. Yeah, groups. So it'd be that first one, 22,000. So yeah, any random question you may have, man, you can always ask it in the group and you'll have freaking 
25 people that reply back with an awesome answer. There's some smart ass people in this group. And every single one of them, bro, are just like you and I looking to build a business online, mm -hmm. looking to capture leads online. That's freaking 22,000 of us. So we're all on the same page trying to figure out the damn thing and trying to build our business online. So any question, that's a phenomenal resource right there as well. Awesome. Cool. Okay. Well, thank you. Yeah. I'll try to look into Kartra. Uh, just keep on. Sounds good, man. Around with it and see what happens, but right thank on, you e so much. Yes, sir, bro. Have a Merry Christmas, man. I'll talk to you in the first. Yeah, you too. All right, brother. See you later.